Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to the channel. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so that you know every time I upload the weekly videos that you're looking for. You'll also help the channel grow. And so let me say thank you right now. Um, this is an oracle card reading. It's an energy reading. So it applies to wherever Capricorn in energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. This video is for you. It's not marked with a date because yes, it will come to you when it's supposed to. But like I said, there is a new Capricorn video every single week. And then Capricorn is also represented in all the all sign videos that I do too. So check those guys out too. Um, there's always an extended reading. So we'll pick up on general energies and themes here in this YouTube reading, which will offer a guidance and illumination, but the specifics, the details, the nitty gritties, the personalized reading that comes in the extended, that link is below. It includes a full tarot card spread and your romance reading. So Capricorn, let's get into it. Let's get into your energy. Oh, coming right out coming right out that one to come out to uh, Capricorn 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 I think life has been a, a struggle for you but uh, hold on I don't want to like speak too soon hold on a lot of cards have come out there's a, there in other words there's a flow that has returned um, a flow that was missing. Use your mind wisely when pigs fly. Something that you thought would never happen is finally a breakthrough that's happening. A sense of being able, being able to be objective, not take things so seriously, and a lighter spirit, lighthearted. Think of air sign energy, that energy of being light, keeping things light. And what this means is keep things light with how you regard yourself and how you treat yourself. The expectations and planning things way in advance and being pedantic about when everything is going to be here. Capricorn, you're, if, if you haven't gotten it by now, the quarantine has been your lesson in undoing that and not needing that because you can't predict things. We don't even know when things are going to open up again. How can we plan? How can we plan for that graduation? How can we plan for, you know, when we're going to go back to work? We can't plan. So this is being forced into or finally accepting that mindset of, I just have to go with the flow. I just have to be um, sort of uh, improvisational and impromptu. too. And it may seem like it's impossible. It may have seemed like it was impossible, but this is a major breakthrough in terms of mindset. The way to use your mind wisely now is to use your mind lightly, is to go easy on yourself, like ease up on yourself. Where you had, hold on, where you had once gained stability in terms of being able to plan and being able to have structure around you, there is, that's, that security is gone. There is no security. So this is learning how to feel good floating on a cloud, believing in the impossible, uh, taking chances on, on things that, you know, seemed to be ridiculous. But this is the ridiculous suddenly making sense. We're going Saturn, your ruling planet, has gone from Capricorn into Aquarius now. Aquarius doesn't sit there and think, does this make sense? In fact, the less it makes sense, the more fascinated it is. So this is Saturn sort of getting that new vibe and new mentality of that Aquarius, more open-minded, broad-mindedness which is really going to, I think, set a, a wonderful tone that allows flow into your life where once it was like stocked up. Blockages with this mindset, blockages are going to start to come loose. Like, you know, and you think that the walls are crumbling, crumbling down, but they're not going to crumble on top of you. There's actually bars to your cage that are coming down. And I know like sometimes the prisoner at first can want those cage walls back up because it feels safe you know it's almost like um um it's almost like um you know yeah like like starting to um trust what is that uh mental disorder when you start to trust your captor you start to feel safe in their presence um, these walls are coming down and they're crumbling and sometimes it takes us a second to step outside and realize the walls are down for, the, the walls are down. We can, we can like, we, we can't, we can't stay where we were, but this is you now starting to gain a flow and being like stepping a toe outside of those walls that are now falling down. Um, sometimes life stings. 
uh, a hard cycle, um, a cycle of hurt and suffering coming to an end and um, going outside of those walls, maybe being, um, yeah, going outside of those walls, being scared, something, usually this card comes up because something is irritating you. It's been bugging you. It's been bothering you, but it's bothering you like a gadfly bothers people like Socrates just, um describe the the gadfly of course now this takes on a whole new meaning with like a virus or an infection that has basically uh imprisoned the world so it's like we're stuck in a whole new kind of web we're stuck in a whole new kind of uh panic or pandemic and it's almost like maybe you're using this right now as your structure because it's the only thing that we can depend on is the worry and the fear and the 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 scaredness of the uh, imminent disaster i think in some ways this card is telling me you may be falling back on that too much because it's the only structure that is available to you right now and this is the wake-up call this is a did you realize you were using it like that because this is where you're supposed to be learning how to get used to this new kind of life not clinging or getting yourself caught in a new net just because hey that net feels better than not having a net at all. This is about learning how to not need a safety net. Because right now it's like you're getting yourself into an unhealthy place just to have a safety net, which is really bad. But at least you're acknowledging it. Um, this is courage. Finding now the courage and the strength to look to the future. Leo, a sense of something, somebody or you, a sense of confidence coming. Hold on. <coughs> oh, thank you coming into your life, um, trusting in your heart, like not, like it's not just trusting in your heart. Leo's rule the sharp, uh, the heart area. So this is your heart and heart health and strength of, of, of believing in yourself, believing in your emotions and stepping forward in courage, finally being able to walk away from something that was hurting you, harming you, or making you sick with your head held high. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, so you see clearly now, this is Aquarius energy, uh, the energy of four plus three, um, allowing that divine inspiration to come into your life, Capricorns. Now you can see in the dark. Now you can see your way through the murk and the tunnels, the, the, the darkened tunnel, a glimmer of hope, if you will, that you only are able to see because you switched your mindset. Like if you don't switch your mindset, you won't be able to see through owl's eyes. You won't be able to like, it's the wisdom that illuminates and opens up those part of the brain that allows you to see those opportunities. So your opportunities are, if they're still closed to you, it's because your mind is still closed and trying to cling to even unhealthy things just so you can feel a little bit of safety have courage, take courage, and go in the direction of the unconventional, and that's going to open your mind, and then you'll start to see the way, clearly the way forward. Um, yeah, this could, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Magic works, what I say, magic works through you, so it's you yourself that has to, like, sort of go through this mental perspective change um, to create a whole new life, but you have the magic, you have the energy, you have the power. This is Cancerian energy, also very cardinal energy, just like you, but it's more intuitive cardinal energy. It's you don't feel the ground under your feet and you want to, but you can't, you can't right now. So give up, give it up. Like let the tide take you. This is a sense of delving into the psyche and trusting in your instincts and your intuition to guide you forward, not needing those benchmarks, not needing those footholds, not needing to feel the ground beneath your feet, because right now, all that's going to do is lead you into a web that's going to trap you and drown you. You need to stay free and stay um, sort of feeling, feeling uh, like, feel accepting, accepting that this is a whole new way to sort of control your situation by uh, trusting your instincts and letting your instincts guide you. But this is central energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancerian or there is an, uh, no, no, it's more just uh, allowing your feelers, your feelings to guide you through this really interesting situation. It could also be um, framed by Leo and Cancer. There is a sense of feeling like you've been liberated and freed or feeling like somebody has come in and helped you by summertime. 
is is a message that is part of the message, Capricorn. Open to infinite possibilities. This is the star card. You have a lot of Aquarian energy, and I'm not surprised because you are full speed ahead in Aquarius right now. Saturn is in Aquarius right now. So this is dreams, hope, wish, hopes, wishes coming true, but also letting the truth flood into you and being illuminated and seeing opportunities where you never saw them before. It's like seeing the infinite possibilities, being open to them, and that's what brings you your opportunities is when you start, you, you let your box come, forget about thinking outside of the box. The box doesn't exist anymore. Not in Aquarius. Aquarius is, in other words, Capricorn, because you will always look for structure, but the Aquarian structure doesn't come from 3D tangible structure. It comes from the next idea. It comes from the unconventional and the infinitely possible. That's where Aquarius is get their comfort and get their structure from being able to think, being able to have new opportunities, being able to entertain the ridiculous being able to and noticing that that's that's where your structure will come from the unconventional um be at home so um once again heart chakra space um maybe spending a lot of time at home um uh maybe spending a lot of time in the domestic space because this is cancerian energy as well uh wombat can be very defensive and protective as well start at home feel secure at home i think that could be your tangible place to start this sense of or maybe even opening your mind to your home like what is my home? What should my home look like? What should it be? Does it have to be, you know, my children going to school and me going to work? Can I continue the homeschooling? You know, maybe we can travel. Maybe we can get an RV and we can go on the road. Like what defines and what tells me that I have to adhere to the conventional just to be at home? Something about the home and be open to possibilities in and around your home space, maybe even the physical structure of your home. Um, love is all around. So opportunity is all around. Opportunity for connection is all around. Uh, communications coming in from a lot of different places. So a lot of different pieces of hope coming at you. Um, this is Gemini energy, uh, uh, five plus, four plus one equals five. So changing your perspective, changing what you need to feel good and feel love. This sense of opening your heart space to a more flexible model. Um, this is a lot of, this is a lot of energy. Hold on. Oh, Think on your feet. Yeah, I'm not surprised this card came out because this is Sagittarius energy, totally chaotic energy, totally spontaneous energy, you know, needing freedom and enjoying the freedom and literally reveling in the chaos. You're being forced into the circumstance to teach you how to be flexible, how to be bendable, how to be malleable, which you don't think of with Capricorn. You think of metal, you think of steel, you think of um not unbending, but this is asking you to bend. This is asking you to be, um, uh, yeah, this is asking you to find your strength in being malleable. Like that's the only way that forward essentially, but it's a lesson. It's a lesson in a whole new mindset. Maybe even travel when we get the travel ban off, realizing that, uh, you, you're making yourself travel, making yourself go to new places, uh, to learn new things. Also a young energy. This is a uh, youngness, young youthfulness. So it could be, I don't know, I don't know. It could be a love affair with somebody who is younger than you. Trying something that you haven't tried before. Overcome any obstacle. Yeah, thinking on your feet and allowing yourself to be bendable is what's going to get you through. This is Taurus energy, but it's the can do side of Taurus. It's the, I will get through it. I believe in it. I'm a gentle giant and moving forward, making progress, but also the energy of five changing how you get through things. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Reclaim your power. Um, energy of 4-4 four, four adds up to 8, which is destiny. Um, finding a sense of strength where you never thought that you would have a sense of strength. 
Okay. And that could be from doing some kind of work or some kind of job or having some kind of relationship that you would have automatically said no to before. Why? Because the truth is you didn't realize how much your, your security was based on, um, comfort, your ability to make your world comfort, comfortable, your, your, you know, um, um, op opportunities that you had before that you don't have now. It's like, it's like, <clears throat> but does that mean stability is gone? Like it could be somebody who always got job opportunities, right? You could be somebody who always got job opportunities, could always find a way to make money. And now all of a sudden everything is shut down, right? And never realizing that you had your draconian sense of, I do this, 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 and this, because you always could. You actually were always taken care of by the universe like that before or something like that. And so you always could, and now you can't. And now you're realizing that I built my sense of self value and even maybe my sense of my own talents and skills on an impractical belief, this belief that, that was just based on the fact that things had always gone well for me or something like that it had always been possible. But now you have to learn the art of the impossible, the art of those things that don't make much sense. And that's your way forward. That's your way forward. I know it sounds crazy to you. Good. Good. Trust in the crazy. Let it go. Let it all hang out. Your new structure is the unconventional Capricorn. That's the way you're going to get through and that's the way you're going to reclaim your strength. So in other words, you're going to find an opportunity in a completely unexpected place. And I've been telling you that for a while, make your dreams real awakening, awakening to the infinite possibilities around you, awakening how to, how to learn how to mold and meld the resources that you have around you. Now, maybe you always worked in steel and now you have to learn how to knit, figure out how to freaking knit. Maybe you always worked in, um, the financial industry. And now you have to learn how to be a nurse. You have to be malleable. Like, in other words, take the resources around you and awaken to their potential and their possibilities and what they can build for you. Um, okay. All right. Embrace the in-between. Be flexible. Six plus two equals eight. This is, this is destined. This was a lesson that you had to learn. This is Libra energy of finding that strength to be able to find a way to make anything work. And you can. You can make anything work. This is more air energy though. Surrounded by air energy because you're constantly having to be reminded to be lighter and to take things less seriously and to expect less and that's how you get more. Interesting. Um, and then your grounding energy, freedom is yours. Also Aquarius energy, liberation, being able to break free, break free from the tethers or the bridles or, you know, the, the reins that were held on you. And I think you held them on you, your expectations of your own self, be peace, more Libra energy, a sense of the divine coming in and guiding you and trusting in spiritual advice, maybe even being drawn to spiritual advice, letting those prayers guide you, letting that hope guide you, taking that leap of faith. But this is be peace, you actually coming in and finding the balance inside of yourself um, know your worth, the energy of nine, uh, throwing off the reins and not trying to be like, that's what I'm saying. Not trying to be not earning. Oh, I can't even get the words out. Right. I apologize. Not finding your sense of social status or basing your sense of social worth on having it all together or having all the answers and having all that money built up or saved up and all of those things that you like to have in place that you think guarantee you social prestige. No, this is you stripping yourself bare, farting out loud and building, not caring about social prestige, just being exactly who you are, even if it's something that you're ashamed of. Just stop trying to cover it up. Let your stink out. And last but not least, time to collaborate. Finally being able to find somebody that can work with you and that you can build with. This could be emotional, like um, this could be romantic collaboration. It could also be finally finding work. I think that you're going to finally find work when you finally uh, liberate yourself. 
and let yourself go and see a new possibilities, finding work in a different place, in a much far less conventional, far more raw, less what you would consider right now, less prestigious, but it's actually more prestigious and it's gonna take you a lot farther over the next two and a half years because Aquarius energy likes strange things. Capricorn doesn't, it likes traditional things and it likes um, monetary luxury things and social status. Aquarius energy likes the strange and unusual. Okay, so it's going to take you a lot farther and actually work a lot better in your favor. Let me review the cards with you. Lots of messages, lots of readings, a big change for you. An uncomfortable change that you're going to have to have courage, but it's the mindset. It's, it's, it's less of, you know, everything in your life changing. And it's more your mindset changing. Even maybe even opening up to living someplace else or finding your heart in a different place, being open to be more flexible and try new things, finding, um, finding that sense of expecting less, right? That's what it is, expecting less and keeping things more shallow and light. Um, downsizing, it could be going from a large home to a smaller home. Um, and not caring because you've let go of that need for social status, and you're learning more. It's not about social. It's not about social status. The new, the new social status is um, talking about ideas and and exchanging ideas and and helping people and caring about the community. It's it's more living outside of yourself and in your friendships than it is building um, you know uh, pretty painted walls or uh, building another layer onto your house to see how accomplished you are. It's, it's not, that's not how you're gonna win um, people's uh, accolades. And now it's, it's more having that open mindset and being willing to try new things. Um, this is your grounding energy is finding balance in an impractical place, in a place that is much more raw, much less pretty, much less quote unquote prestigious, but simultaneously that's going to, what's going to be offering you peace. That's going to offer you happiness. It's going to offer you a sense of love and freedom that you could not have predicted because you were stuck until you opened your mind. And that's when you saw the way through because you changed your mindset. You need to change your mindset to see the way through. Um, I hope I see you over in the extended. I'm going to continue on this reading, uh, extrapolate more messages and go into the romance reading. This is the full romance reading. Um, you can also take, get a preview in the romantic tarot as well. I'll see you guys in the extended Capricorn.